Off in the distance, the smoke flies. The National Guard is shooting off their cannons. That must mean the NASCAR 125 is about to commence. All right. Awesome Mount Hood provides the backdrop for the start of the NASCAR 125 here at PIR. There are a number of noteworthy names in this race. The one who stands out the most in these parts and elsewhere would be the man they call Herschel McGriff Sr. Been racing since the 40s. The man is approaching something like 82 years young and he's out there today in the 04 car, still wheeling. I'm right here. The motorhome crew is ready to rock and roll. Old Wild Bill and oh. Kelly Valentine. Richard, can you front and center. Yes, I can, please. There's a pair of gloves. There. Baby! All right. Off in the distance, we can hear them approaching. First lap is officially started. As they make their way through. Number 17 car in the lead. Viper leads the pack around for the first caution of the day. Looks like the number of is taking a long way around. Herschel McGriff is on the move. He uh, looks like he got the lucky dog. Got to catch up with the pack and uh, get this race started back up. It's been a long caution. And the race resumes as the speedy drive flies. And we have a lead change. It's 17. It's around the 20 Napa car. I know guys like Rich Christensen from Pink's All Out would like to see that Napa car. Up front. Yeah. That inside tire coming right off the ground on that baby. On the corner exit. Oh, a little bit of a little bit of dirt there too. Good number here. It's the second caution of the day, and something a lot of fans don't like to see is the number three being pushed off the track. Now the 09 gets pushed off in the middle of another long caution. Uh, there's a lot of debris out on the track. All right, the action resumes here at the Portland 125 after another long caution. There may have been more cautions, laps, than actual competition laps up to this point. But we're off and running. One thing of note, as the uh, fellows continue to pit, Herschel McGriff, who started dead last to lap down with a problem in the first lap, way up. the sixth number one car spins out. Gets back on track and keeps going. Tired. The track is starting to get slick at this point in the race. All right, the race is already halfway through, and one here in the 89 leads the pack. Morocco, Morocco is holding in there. And the 89 has 
has opened up a pretty comfortable lead here. 17 is moving his way up through the pack, turning the fastest laps of anyone on the field. A sea of motorhomes wrap around turn seven as the race rolls on. Wild Bill and wife Michelle provide the motorhome here for many old Portland Speedway people to come and uh, enjoy. Yes, they do have a few friends here today. And it's the number six car moves into the lead. Another long caution, and we see Herschel at the lead of the pack. But actually, he's gone a lap down, and we're waiting to see if maybe he'll get a lucky dog or something. All right, Herschel makes his way around the track to catch up with the pack. Mayhew continues to lead as Englebright slices through the pack. And the cars start going around here in turn seven. Nothing but a pile of smoke and dust right now as they try to estimate. Looks like we have a lead shuffle here. Looks like 26 is taking over first. And we have damage coming straight at us here. Fender's hanging. Cars going around. They're all over the place. Off-road, on-road, backwards, forwards. Oh, that, that Napa car got beat up bad. And we got one that remains dead right here. This one remains dead on track. And the pack, as the pack comes around, yellow caution is out. The pack's winding its way up through here now, and it's going to have to uh, drive around this car. Here we come. This caution-filled race has boiled down to a green-white checker. We got Ingle Bright on the move. And here it comes, the final lap of the race, with Greg Persley in the lead. And as they approach the finish line, the action keeps on coming, and Ingle Bright jumps into the lead. Quite a reaction from Wild Bill and crew up on top of the motorhome there. <laughs> when we last checked. Number one pumps his fist in the air as he takes that last turn, last lap win. That last check, Herschel McGriff had taken his place at the end of the lead lap, but he was sitting in 10th. We'll have to see how it all shakes out. And that's it. The NASCAR 125 here in uh, Portland, Oregon. We even got a car off track after the race is over. Doing a little drifting show for us. <laughs> there you go, a little sideways drive in there. And it's all over, but for the wreckers, we're here for the Portland 125 as Englebright takes the win.